Welcome to Sports Seek. Sports is the greatest teacher, and the sports field is the greatest classroom that one can get. Sports makes us aspire, inspire, and motivate in our journey. Hence, let's aim sports. Today, we have with us a former India number one in WTA doubles ranking who attended Texas AM University and graduated with a degree in the business studies. She continued to represent India at various competitions. Today, we have with us Apli Puneri girl, Rutuja Bosley. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and thank you for sharing. But please do subscribe on our channel, Sports C Sales, and help us spread the word about Sports C. Let's aim sports. We go with the same handle, Sports C Sales, across all social media platform. Do help us spread the word about Sports C Sales. Please subscribe. Thank you. Hi, Rutuja. Great to have you on Sports C. Thank you uh, so much for having me. <laughs> It's great to have a a, a Puneri girl on a, on our on our chat show today, and uh, where we talk about sports a lot. And uh, this 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 yes. season we are talking about what makes you an athlete and uh, how sports lets you aim something. Like we all know, sports is a great yeah. teacher, and the sports field is one of the best classroom that anybody can get. And uh, yeah. in in the, in in the whole journey that we always aspire, an athlete always aspires something. The athlete inspires so many people. At the same time, athlete motivates itself, uh, her, himself or herself, to make sure yeah. that they are, they are the better version of themselves every day. Uh, yeah. And uh, with that, uh, so for our for our our viewer, we have Rutuja, who is uh, right now currently placed as India's fourth best tennis player. Uh, she has. Uh, she, oh, she was third. Okay, so we have <laughs> now now. Okay, so with the let, latest ranking, yes, we have India's. Uh, Top three, the third best uh, tennis player. Uh, she yeah. she had the world ranking at junior at fifty five. I think that that's when you ended the junior and moved to senior. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, all those numbers are here and there. And they, somebody who started training at the age of nine and yeah. uh, continued the journey with so much of passion, determination. I think that is what we want to know, and uh, that is what is we are here to talk about. So, uh, Rutuja. Then correcting the third best Indian tennis female tennis player right now. Uh, can yeah. you describe? Can you describe your tennis journey and what what is your favorite memory from it? Well, my tennis journey was not something. It was it was not planned. Uh, my dad he was a national level uh, javelin thrower and a four hundred meter hurdle runner. So he wanted me to be in some kind of a sport, and luckily one of his friend's son used to play tennis, and that's how I got into tennis. And the first few years were just like I'd go one day, and then I'll take rest for like five days because I'd be so tired. Like I've never yeah. seen or heard sport. So, but then when I first competed, like there was like this junior baker's basket on, or I don't, I don't even remember it was under ten something tournament, and I played. even though i lost i won like one match the entire round robin but like the the feeling of competing and you know like fighting for every point was something i loved like i like a like for a kid you don't know what that is but then that is something i loved about the sport and after that it was just like very hard for my parents to keep me out of the tennis court like i was like if even if my mom was like you know ko aaj chutti ghew ya me ho aaj nahi mala like khelala like no you get up and we are going So yeah, wow. then it started there, and then like after that, like soon I was, you know, I was just like eleven. I was playing bigger tournament, like a uh, higher age group. I was playing under twelves. I was playing under fourteens, and uh, the the part that you're competing and you know, like you're doing something which is completely different from what the normal kids do. Like you know, you go to the school and then you leave like halfway, midway because you have to go train. It is something everyone wants, and as yeah. a kid, it's something. It's it's like a feeling that. oh everyone wants this but you know you get you're the only one who's getting to do it so yeah so like that when the journey started i started competing i started playing a lot of matches and then you know it was it was difficult for my mom also because like she my dad being in the police he's he had no like he had no time to give us so my mom and i would you know let's go on the scooty the two wheeler and you know it was just i mean she was also like just coming from a village like she got married she came from a village so it was difficult for her and it was also a new thing for her to you know 
just take the daughter you know for a tennis camp or whatever that was going on so my mom was also loving uh, the new adventure and everything and then yeah like uh, at 15 i was the youngest one of the youngest uh, senior national champions in singles uh, the same year i won the asian junior um, uh, singles tournament and also i made my first uh, my debut in the in the indian fed cup team in the fed cup so yeah. like yeah so like at a very young age i experienced all of these things which a athlete wants to experience and then it was just i mean it's just the love for the sport i guess i don't know but then after that you know like started playing more matches and everything but then um, i think when i was 16 or 17 like financially and like or due the few things on the personal end didn't go really well for me so i had to choose a i mean i because i was like a top 60 junior i got a really good scholarship uh, yeah. in the states where i went and i, I mean obviously it was a decision which was made within like a few months and my 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 dad was someone who was like ki nahi tila nahi pathvaycha she's doing so well she is 16 she's already india number 2 after sanya mirza like why tila ka pathvaycha but then on the other hand my mom was a little bit like you know ki nahi it's a good opportunity for her like she's going to go she's going to learn and my dad's like how do you know and like you know how like parents are yeah but then obviously I, when i went there um, it turned out to be a very good decision and um, definitely like those four years have just like um, you know carved a different rutuja you could say like i i mean i would be i would like if you would if i i feel like if i did not go to college or if i did not compete in the states i would be a little shyer version i mean i i'm still a bit reserved yeah. but um, i would i would i would not talk at all if it was before but now i i i can express myself i i have seen what um, where i stand between you know like uh, between the top athletes because when i went to college i was like ata college tennis se kithe aubhar asnare but then i go there and there are girls who are like top 50 juniors like me who are on the yeah. team and you yeah. have to compete for the spots to even play on the team Correct. and also like you have to maintain a certain gpa to have your scholarship so it was it was a different all like it was like a different level when i went to the states um yeah in 2017 i graduated i am back and on the professional tour it's been 3 years and it's been it's been tough but it's also been fun at the same time i think it's a, i have i have first I personally i have heard this story and from a proud father uh man um, uh, yeah <laughs> uh i have heard this story and yes he is so proud whenever he speaks about it and and i think yeah. that is what it is right it is like your yeah. the dad is so happy when he's known as the uh, rutuja's dad yeah. uh, so that he has said uh, so many times to me so uh, so i in in your journey you sp- uh, you spoke about some very very important facts that something that is very aspirational that you were 10 years old getting bored but suddenly got the test of what the whole fun is you yeah. ins- something was inspiring you and at the same time something was motivating you yeah. uh, so what was the aspiration while growing up who who was your inspiration and what motivated you to be a better version of yourself every day uh i i still always say this like my answers never changed my parents those those two are like the pillars i would never want to replace or like even if i got anything else like better i wouldn't want to you know replace them because like since a kid till now like they have supported me and my dad on the one on the other, like on one hand is like kahi ho de to first round six love six love hard always keep your head up and like he would always he always tells me his his journey as a kabaddi player his journey as a athlete and you know like now he talks about how like ata kabaddi khelta like you know you get injured and it's like a contact sport yeah. and like he's so he dukto ata i was like team hata re jhala hat and then <laughs> and then he goes like just wait until you stop playing tennis and then you'll see ki what i mean by you know this this hurts and that hurts and like just his small journeys when he talks about how life is, how not just the tennis life or not just the sport life but in life also you have to compete yeah. in all like you have to make your own mark but without pressure but without the you know expectations you put on yourself like as an athlete i feel like like personally i put a lot of expectations on myself because you know as a young young kid you know like who has never heard of the sport tennis and is growing up in a in a country where the the 
sport tennis is not so popular Correct. and you are tasting you're tasting all these things quickly i also like i know i have i started putting a lot of pressure uh, like expectations like nahi ata he kele ata he kelach pahije and then i used to get that disappointment but the way he used to handle me or he still handles me is something like that still inspires me he's so calm all the time my mother on the other hand can go like this but my my dad is always like this and that is something that always inspires me wow and at the last point what motivates you to be a better version of yourself what is your dream my dream my dream is like to be like my father like especially during these tough times like i have seen him go work i have seen him come home and stay away from us like this is just something which has happened yeah. recently and it just inspires me because like he comes home he's tired and like he still has that smile and he still has that um attitude of a winner of a fighter mm-hmm. like you know tithe kai ho de here this is my place and this is something i want to keep happy and that is something not i i don't think so everybody can do it and that inspires right. me to be a better version of myself like if my dad can do it and he has like he has you know like raised me so i can be a better version of myself excellent excellent arutuja and uh, in the whole journey that you mentioned that you said the four years in the us actually made a lot yeah. of difference at the texas university <laughs> uh so you have seen a uh, like as you said right there, there were top 50 from world who were there to compete yeah. for the team yeah other than the infrastructure what do you think that actually uh, you would have been a different person or or could have helped you more while growing up what were those those things uh, in the in the infra uh, one side is infrastructure yeah. that we get here visa what yeah. we get there but yeah. also as a personality and development as an individual what yeah. are those differences well like you said the infrastructure is something that makes such a big difference like everything is under one roof like your your tennis training happens at the same place your fitness your nutrition your physical therapy your studying or everything it's everything happens under one roof and it is just such a relief because you don't have to go from here ata practice it is hale now go let's go get your uh, physiotherapy done oh ata he is hale i need to meet with someone else like it's like a circle so like suppose your day is supposed to be 7 hours it ends up to be a 9 hour day Yeah. so like the two hours are just gone because you have to travel from one place to the other and also like when i say everything is inside everyone is so invested like the trainers the physiotherapists the the coaches the academic advisors everyone is so linked together ki suppose something is not happening well at the educational front it is conveyed to the tennis person tennis coach and then right. like there's there's a link कि म्हणजे एका गोष्टी जर का चांगलं होत नसेल तर एव्हरीथिंग हॅज टू लाईक गो थ्रू अ लिंक अँड इट नीड्स टू बी कन्वेड जर का इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट लॉस्ट इन द प्रोसेस यु नो इट्स नॉट ऑफ इट्स नॉट फ्रॅगमेंटेड द वे वी हॅव इट हियर राईट नाउ इट इज मोर ऑफ युनिफाइड अँड एव्हरीबॉडी इज इन्व्हेस्टेड इन द होल प्रोसेस इन द जर्नी या एक्झॅक्टली सो आई थिंक दॅट मेक्स द डिफरेंस yeah and uh, and again right uh, it's so many athletes while growing up uh, put uh, education on the back burner yeah. and i have spoken to so many other athletes like sharat kamal who is like uh, yeah. like padma shri and uh, so yeah. many things and uh, so asian and chaman he always says that uh, the problem is the parents are not ready to uh, give kids time to be a good athlete they can yeah. wait for 18 years for somebody to become an engineer but does not want to wait for 2 years to become a good play- player tennis good player. player or a table tennis player yeah. but at the same time everybody said the sports uh, the education actually helped them in the journey yeah. and it, you yeah. cannot take it for granted and you yourself graduated in business studies and uh, i think tourism is yeah. uh, uh, from from texas so yeah. what what do you think is the importance of education in athlete's life well obviously like if you are a full time athlete like you are going to you are going to face a situation where the educational is going to be the back you know is going to be at the back of your mind somewhere uh, but i feel like you as an athlete or especially as an indian athlete i feel that you should have an uh, you should have some kind of an education like just finish your graduation because it's going to help because um for me personally i did everything so practical so hands on in in texas that i do not feel that i would have got yeah. in the same kind of experience if i studied here because here i had so much help if you are a good athlete if you are an exceptional athlete in india i feel that you get so much help like either my mom is helping me with my work 
and then you can fluctuate your dates of exams and like you know all of except the board ones but otherwise you can you know you can fluctuate everything but there it did not matter there if i had a match a match on a monday but the submission on monday night you submitted online it doesn't matter but it has to be submitted on the same day there is no there is no extra time because you're a athlete there is no nothing like manje kuthes kahits there is no preferential treatment Right. which i feel is very necessary because you learn how to manage time to know that this is something that needs to be done and at the same time you're getting the education you're expanding your knowledge so right. so and, i think and, and i i'm i'm sure you also agree like so many other athletes have agreed that education makes you smarter in your decision making on field as well it definitely that's right yeah exactly yeah uh, yeah so uh, and also if you being an athlete you are so focused the edu- you actually become that mantat na ki ek party in education that you can you can do oh, the stuff like to read yeah yeah you exactly when i when i was studying i did not need like 10 days or like 3 days to you know like understand something i read it once if i didn't understand i would read it again and that's it yeah like i that- i i noticed that difference when i was playing yeah because because of your focus right it's it's all about the mental mental yeah. side as well so uh, so rutuja exactly. coming yeah <laughs> so yeah. coming from the your journey to education uh, one of the thing that uh, in your career is you have faced is injuries and uh, we have uh, we have read oh, about boy. your injuries and uh, yeah it's 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 unfortunate but it's it's in the, it's part of part and parcel of a professional athlete's it's life it. so what do you think yeah. is more tougher when you are injured is is the mental recovery or the physical recovery i think it's the mental recovery for me it's always been the mental recovery because for some reason i always felt that when i'm playing my good tennis i always got hurt or i always ended up being um, you know somewhere where maza khanda is like ata khup dukto hai ata bas like you play one good tournament and it's i mean it would just fall off all the time Yeah. Or uh, yeah, like when the time came and I had to rest and just do the rehab and you know just not play tennis, that was the most difficult part for me because like physically, to me, काम करता है रोज़ like you're working, you're doing your physical therapy, you're going on the tennis court, you're doing everything right. But then you have so much free time. Like even though I read books, I watch TV, I spend time with family, which I'm very grateful because being injured gave me a lot of time with family. Yeah. but it is something that now i have gotten used to ja the navin navin zhalo to i would just like i would i don't know like i would tell my mom ki ata mi ready hu but now like i have i have realized how to take time and work on the other things my body needs so yeah yeah and and we we wish you don't fall you are not injured ever now going forward you have lot lot of things to lot of things to achieve uh, yeah. but yeah, yeah. but uh, again uh, because of injury you got some time and uh, the whole 2020 actually got us a, a different kind of mindset time that uh, we got yeah. some people call it a, yeah. a breakdown somebody called them they got a ta- time to be with themselves somebody said it's yeah. frustrating because yeah. if you look at the olympic athletes it was a most frustrating part for them because it, yeah. they train for 3 3 years to be ready three for years. that one year and at that one day or the 10 seconds and uh, yeah. everything was pushed out Yeah. What do you think is happened to you at your professional life because of the because of the whole lockdown and how do you, do you keep yourself motivated to be fit as and when the next opportunity comes? Well, uh, at the beginning, obviously, it was very frustrating because I had just recovered from my mm. my shoulder injury and I had taken the whole December. I mean, not the whole December, a few days in December, the whole of January. a uh, half of the february to i mean did not touch a racket at all because um my my physio dr weber daga and the team like they decided like i needed to rest because every time i felt like my shoulder is feeling better i would push like you know like any athlete doesn't want to sit so i would push and then it would just like last me a few months but then they finally like you know finally were like nai bas you're not touching a racket you're just doing physical therapy and fitness and whatever it is and then the first tournament i played was like a like a itf in jodhpur and then fed cup which i did really well in personally i feel yeah. and suddenly come home and there's lockdown so um i was like okay like thode divas asel like kai honare blah 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 
and then suddenly there's another problem like people in my society are like oh she's just come from dubai she's traveled international she can't go downstairs and train there are so many kids here so like then my my options to train were also getting very limited so it was be- becoming very frustrating but then i realized like you know what like it's it's i just i have to take it in a positive way and then just help the shoulder help the other body parts and and recover and obviously like uh, for uh, at least you know usually like so used to you know traveling and yeah. uh, just playing so many matches like i feel like it's oh, this this has hurt like a lot of players like yeah. uh, ranking wise or anything because i feel like if i had played more matches i would have been a little bit higher i would have played a little bit of higher tournaments which the other players are getting to play now just because i'm a little lower in the ranking i'm not able to play that and i'm mm-hmm. and the itf is not get, get taking a lot of uh, bigger tournaments is very low so i i mean it's very hard to uh, judge like ki zaitso ka na is it worth yeah. it to go for such a low tournament is it going to help you with the points so there's like lot of ifs and buts right at the, at the end of the year it's coming because everyone's itching to play like usually if you go if you go for a 15k like the lowest tournament like the top seat would be like the highest could go like 550 or 500 but the week when i when i won the the top seat was i think 300 so like the jump has just been tremendous everyone's itching to play and because uh, a lot of opportunities are given to i mean are are taken by the higher ranked players so like the lower ranked players want to play wherever they can get in correct so like it's very it's very difficult to um, to uh, you know make a choice where if you re- if if it's really worth it to go that far spend that much money for like a matter of 10 points because right. i won the tournament and i got 10 points and i moved to like 20 spots which is nothing so it's it's like very like yeah. it's like the ifs and buts and you know like i i yeah, I, yeah. but i think it, it it it's a different learning for everybody uh, which yeah. has come come through and uh, and uh, sudden, suddenly the as, as you said the people were playing the top set were playing the low rank tournament just to get back into the shape before the yeah. the bigger matches exactly uh, yeah so uh, when when we are talking about a top seeds or any other sport uh, who is your favorite athlete and if not tennis what is the favorite sport that you have I have always been very fond of Saina Nehwal for some reason like always been a fan of hers like the way she's on the court she's aggressive but at the same time she's so calm which is uh, something similar to Roger Federer like I love Roger yeah. Federer like they're both so similar I love them and like if you have to talk about my favorite in tennis for women is Venus Williams she's uh, she's so aggressive I feel like I'm like just like her because I'm tall and I'm skinny and I I hit the ball flat so I feel like I play uh, I play like her but obviously i don't uh, but yeah i love i love the way she is she's so poised not just with tennis like when she gives her interviews it's so yeah. um she's just a whole person all together so yeah i love her yeah. oh nice nice and uh, so com- coming to the last segment we spoke about almost all uh, last segment is yes you are a professional athlete you are a very successful uh, tennis player you have had your own journey uh, with different ways but i'm sure you got some really really important advice uh, while growing up and which you may want to give it to the the budding athlete budding tennis players or girls in sports what is that what was that advice that you got and what is that you would like to give it to the the girls in sports i i always have it as like my uh, screen saver and it is uh, no matter how you feel get up dress up show up and never give up it is like obviously it's not the same like same words right. made english made nahi pan marathi made majhe dad and also my coach himan bain they also always says the same thing like there sometimes when i come from, come home from matches and i come home from matches and i'm like sir he apan evda kaam kele pan he kai zhalach nahi like mi majhe first up netatat jat hote like ani mi tacha mule tharle like this is what it happened and then he goes like so what we'll work on it and it's going to come you just have to keep your head up so like it's like i mean sometimes you're not going to play your best sometimes things are not going to go your way and all you have to do is just work hard keep the faith and trust the process so i think so well put through about keep keep the faith and uh, trust the process and yes knowing him and sir yeah. i can i can imagine him saying in his own tone that yeah. is uh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 
flow you just have to go to and he can just like show you up like that okay so uh, okay so this i earlier said it was my last question but i think i just suddenly remember something uh, what, watching a, a nice fun video of uh, three of you on instagram yesterday uh you oh. ankita and one more girl uh, yeah. <laughs> so i'm not asking about that video but i'm i'm uh, uh, my, my my question is uh, the current athletes have so much of uh, uh visibility suddenly because of social media uh, which was probably yeah. limited to only handful of earlier uh, but now you have yeah. the good platform people follow you people know you and uh, you also mm-hmm. become a role model and may, so many other things happen to you yeah. but how do you yeah. think the the athlete do not get distracted by this kind of things what do you do to not get distracted by all this thing but I by the way mom, by the way the video was good <laughs> i i like ankita's th- expressions <laughs> i think i told ankita i think she is going to do the hula hoop because i cannot act to save my life so i was i just kept doing the hula hoop yeah. and uh, but i think my mom does a good job with that because every time she sees me on my phone or something now ata the kami zale because now i'm married and i'm at, yeah. at my in-laws and stuff but if she comes to see me practice every day and it is her habit that if i take my phone during the break like when we get my first sessions and then we get a break, yeah so if i take my phone before i finish eating oh my god it's a nightmare with my mom she will make sure that all my Pastics are bought in front of me. <laughs> With, like, like it's just a nightmare. Yeah, it's just a nightmare. Like she'll come even now. She comes and she like she'll just sit there and like if I'm a little bit further from her, she'll still keep looking at me. And you know, like if someone's looking at you, you can feel it. So I'm like, yeah. oh god, my mom's looking at me. And then I have to keep my phone. I have to finish eating and all. But then you're like, once you come home, you're so tired. Like you just want to rest up. You want to recover. so i think that is one part with the athlete that you we get so tired that you don't have the time for all the social media and stuff we obviously we do check um, the me- social media we also want to like do the reels and the 2020 made us do it <laughs> so but yeah we try to uh, keep up with the trends <laughs> it, it, that is good but but again uh, on that note what's your message to the people who get carried away with social media the athlete specifically uh i don't know because you know like as a young athlete you know you want to see what's happening uh all around and you want to keep a track it's not like i don't know like if everyone's on the social media but some some of them have a habit of playing games and you know but like i feel like uh everyone has their uh, choices and personally everyone like should realize on the personal front like it's yes. not something that's going to take you up there or it's going to take you down here it's just a is just a um, how do you say a matter of time that it's just, it's going to be worthless so yeah. like make use of your time wisely like just distribute your time yeah excellent i think uh, that 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 real got me the last to the last question so exactly that's why <laughs> i <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it was it was fun to see that and uh, oh, and uh, i i my i wanted to ask you why did you stick to only hula hoop in the whole 20 seconds but yeah now you answered that <laughs> no Great. because i because I, i i did not know first of all how to get out of it <laughs> because once i started i was stuck and ankita and snehal they both know how bad i like like personally if you're talking to me i can make i can mimic people i can do all of that but if you put a camera in front of me i can freeze so i was like i'm going to do something i'm good at <laughs> great and you are you are really good at that for sure so uh, so rutuja uh, wonderful chatting with you uh, give my regards to your dad as well and uh, wonderful chatting with you uh, wish you all the best and uh, we want to see the 2021 uh, with the different highs for you and uh, injury free new rankings everything that you looking forward to and uh, keep inspiring people let people be as- aspiring to become the kids be aspiring to become like you and keep motivating everybody thank you for thank being you on so the sportsy thank you so uh, much. and talk to you soon talk to you soon thank you take care take care bye, bye. thank you for watching thank you for liking and thank you for sharing but please do subscribe on our channel sportsy says and help us spread the word about sportsy let's aim sports we go with the same handle sports he says across all social media platform do help us spread the word about sports he says please subscribe thank you mm-hmm.